Let's take a look. In this video, I made two bucket sets for Coon using a body grip trap. Each bucket had a different bait. The next morning, I came back and checked, and I had caught a possum. Without the game camera, I would never have known that a family of Coons was all over my set and that they had no interest at all in one of the buckets. In fact, they were far more interested in a small dab of jack mackerel that I had placed between the two buckets than they were in anything that was in the buckets themselves. Also, I learned that even after the trap had been fired and there was no trap in the bucket, the coons still would not enter the bucket to get the free bait. The lesson learned from this video is that rather than trying to get a coon to crawl into a bucket, if I had bedded a couple of footholds in front of each bucket, I would have caught a lot more than a possum. Notice how the coon is completely uninterested in the corn that's in the buckets. He's focused on the little dab of jack mackerel that I placed between the two buckets. Notice how the coon is completely uninterested in the bucket on the right. He's only interested in the bucket that had the beaver caster in it. And he's still smelling where the jack mackerel was. Now the possum is going to walk right up and not even hesitate, go directly into the trap and get caught. Soon after the possum kicks away, which I've edited out of the video, the coons return. At this point, there's no trap guarding the bucket on the left. But the coon still goes back to where the jack mackerel was between the two traps. What the coon's doing now is he's eating the corn that was thrown out of the bucket when the 220 fired. And he's eating the corn directly at the front of the bucket, but he will not enter a completely unguarded bucket. There was still corn left in the back of the bucket the next morning. Based on the lessons learned from this video, if I were to make a bucket set now, I would bait it with fish and I would put two footholds in front of each bucket and I would have anywhere from two to four buckets at a location and I would catch multiple coons instead of one possum. Okay, now let's take a look at some more recent footage here. And what you're going to notice is the same principle at work. And that is, this is an active armadillo den. Uh, it's got a Belial 160 in front of it. And the armadillo will not enter his own den. This was an active den. He's all out in front of it, uh, all out behind it. We've got multiple animals that visit the set and absolutely nothing was caught. And once again, if I had bedded multiple footholds in front of this uh, den, the outcome would have been different. So the question is, it's not how many animals are you catching, it's how many animals are you missing. And without a camera, you'll never know.